everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the wedge stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fun crochet stitch that's made up of several very basic crochet stitches. It's similar on the front as it is on the back and these little wedges almost look as though they look like leaves. They're really quite neat. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. The written instructions for this pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link is there for you in the video. Thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out some of the other crochet stitch tutorials here on my channel. It is updated weekly on uh, Sunday mornings as well. If you happen to use this stitch, feel free to tag me on social media or let me know down in the comments how you did or plan to use this stitch in a project. Now our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and for your foundation chain you need a multiple of six stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20. There's 10. And 20. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to work uh, a sort of a special stitch. Um, some people have called it the wedge pico stitch, but what you're going to do is you're going to uh, chain six and then you're going to work back into this chain. You're going to do so as follows. Into the second chain from your hook you're going to work a single crochet followed by a half double crochet into your next stitch double crochet into your next stitch triple crochet into your next and then work a double treble, you're going to yarn over three times, into your final chain. You're then going to skip the next five chains on your foundation chain. So one, two, three, four, five, and then single crochet into the next. We're now going to repeat that wedge pico stitch all the way across um, and uh, the single crochet. So start by chaining six single crochet into the second chain from your hook half double crochet into the next, double crochet, triple crochet, and then a double treble into your final chain. Making sure that your foundation chain is not twisted, you're going to skip the next five chains and then single crochet into the next. So repeat that all the way across and then you're going to end with a single crochet into your final stitch. At the end of row one, you've worked a single crochet into your final stitch 
For row two, we're going to chain five and turn your work. For row two, we're going to uh, work on the opposite side of those chain stitches. So to begin your row two, you're going to start by working a single crochet into the top of the peak here. So uh, it's actually kind of into your single crochet, the top of your single crochet stitch, the first one that you worked into that chain. So you're going to single crochet into the top and then working along the opposite side into the chains, you're going to essentially work the same stitches as you did before. So start on the opposite side in that first chain, you're going to work a single crochet stitch, then half double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next, triple into the next, and then a double treble into the final chain. You'll have worked all the way across. You're then going to join it to the next peak by working a single crochet stitch into the top of that peak, into the first single crochet of your previous wedge pico. Then now working along the opposite side, you're going to repeat single crochet into that first chain, half double crochet, working a uh, on the opposite side of that wedge pico chain, half double crochet, double crochet into the next, triple crochet, and then finish off with a double treble into the final chain on the opposite side of that wedge stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. I'll just finish the repeat one more time here. So single crochet into the top of your wedge and then single crochet, half double, double crochet, triple crochet. Now when you come to your final two stitches, you have the back of the chain stitch and then you have that single crochet. It, over these last two stitches, you're going to work a double treble two together. So to do that, you're going to yarn over three times, insert your hook into that next stitch, which is the back of that chain, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more, yarn over and pull through two. When you have two loops remaining on your hook, you're going to yarn over twice or three times again. Now insert your hook into the single crochet, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times, three loops left on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And that will bring you to the end of your row two. At the end of your row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to start building our wedges again. So in our first stitch, work one single crochet followed by a chain six. Into that second chain from your hook, start your wedge pico, single crochet, 
half double crochet in the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, triple crochet into your next, and then work a double treble into that final chain. You're then going to skip the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the next stitch and repeat. Chain six, and repeat this all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of row three, you're simply going to work, skip your final five, and then work a single crochet into the top of that starting chain five. And that brings you to the end of your row three. Now for the rest of the pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and three for as long as you would like. And when ending the pattern, I recommend ending on a row two. So your row two was that chain five, turn your work, and then start with a single crochet in the top of your wedge, and then work your stitches along the opposite side of that chain. So you're going to repeat rows two, rows three for as long as you would like when you're ending the project. If you want that straight edge, I recommend ending on your row two. And that's all there is to working this fun wedge stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.